And today we're in the studio with Shady Angels. Along the steps of Bernard Street
Hey guys, thanks for playing today. Oh, that thanks was, for having us. Yeah, that was so awesome. How how are you guys doing today? We're it's doing fine so Sunday. Good. We're Marvelous. Sunday over here. Yeah. Having so a good time. That's yeah. awesome, guys. So, do you want to introduce yourself? Go down, say what you play. Sure. Names, yeah. Let's I'm Brayden. I do guitar and I sing. I'm Kern and I play bass. I'm Jameson. I'm the drummer. I'm Owen and I play lead guitar. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, burning question. I wanna. I'm curious on the name change, and like the whole kind of give us a little rundown of Slow Children at Play from the beginning. Kind of give us a little history lesson. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's a long so, one. So I mean, if we go very, very beginning, I mean, we told this story, but. Um, <laughs> Me and Jameson went to preschool together. Oh, we went all the way back. Way back. Owen and I know each other for and a long I knew, time. I knew he played drums like in first grade. So when I was in like eighth grade, was it? Yeah. When I was in eighth grade, You're I don't know. Right I hit him up. I was like, "Do you still play drums?" He was like, uh, "I want to get more into it." So we jammed out in his garage for like a year. A and solid then year. Yeah. We kind of petered out. It was like COVID times. It's a little. We were missing a singer and a bassist, basically. Like yeah. we, we had like guitar and drums, but we didn't have like the rest of the band. But it's the ensemble. Uh, fast forward, he found Brayden and a few other guys at LC. Are no longer with us. That are no oh, longer here. They, they died. We wow. rest in power. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah R. and Brack. Elijah Dordal and Brack and Sorensen are the names. Yeah. And and Owen and the other Owen. Oh, fuck, yeah. And Owen Sorensen. Yeah. So. No, he actually came on a week. Oh, we get you, he wasn't the first man back. I know, I remember that. Oh, yeah. Third one. Deep cut. Okay, let him say sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Anyway, <laughs> Jameson was just like, yo, come gym, like, you know, I got these guys uh, are pretty cool. So I, I showed up and I was really nervous because I felt like it was like a tryout. I was really, but, no, I was really intimidated by him. It was, yeah. He was 14 years old and he was playing like Hendrix. So yeah. it freaked me the fuck yeah, out. He had the thumb thing where like you put you put the oh, thumb yeah, on and play chords like that. He was playing with his thumbs and shit. That's how still, you know if you're still learning bar chords probably. With my thumbs. Thumbs. <laughs> but we got the name from my dad and he was just like driving along, saw one of those, you know, classic science slow children I play. He thought it'd be like ironic and dumb and funny, like we all were. So <laughs> we decided to stick with that for about a little too long. <clears throat> Yeah, there was like a, there was like a eventually like a kind of like a tone switch in the band. Like yeah. two of the members <laughs> left for like creative and like direction reasons. Like they wanted to take it in a different way right. than we did, yeah. and um, we wanted to take things more seriously. And we thought that a name change would help kind of solidify that. And we, how do we, we? Well, also, we I mean, our goal is our goal is to record. And put out an album. Yes. Under and we felt name, like right? we yeah, felt like no. Slow Children at Play didn't <laughs> fit the direction we wanted to yeah. go musically, sonically. Yeah. So we wanted to yeah, kind of also tone an, down. Also, on this we had offers like really early on. We had a couple radio stations hit us up. TPG and, Radio. And um, yeah, they said and they eventually told no. Me to fuck off because, because of our name. Because the name. <laughs> they thought <laughs> Slow <laughs> Children at Play no, sounded offensive. But there's, a, but there's a comma because it's not yeah. Slow Children. It's Slow. <laughs> Children, children are playing. Yeah, they're they're playing. So you got to be slow in the slow zone. Yeah, it's only offensive. Yeah. Come on, it's only after. Yeah. The well, it's only offensive if you like you know have a bad mind and you're like yeah. you know thinking about it. So if you take it there, then you're the. Yeah, then I you're still the I still think the name change was the right move. Yeah, though. I agree. And then Kern joined us right after we changed the name. So you never got yeah. to deal with that bullshit. So. Yeah. But we 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 found the name looking through Tool lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Digging through Tool songs. We yeah. Found Shady. I was listening to and the then pot. Angels. I was listening to the pot, and I heard Shady Inference, and I was like, "Oh, that would be a cool, cool name." And then you were listening to something off uh, the first. Yeah, it was like Undertow or something. Yeah, and you found Angels. And like, oh, Some people didn't Angels. like our name change, but I think it's really grown on me. I love it now. Yeah. I think it's way better than. Ready. I fight to keep these words my own I stay here to be angry and alone I pretend
Protect myself from everything cherry Constant spin has made the whole world dizzy Who are you? Let's pull up your chair Can't you see? Sorry, my bad out friend. Yeah. Well, I never found any house in a room. Every bed I ever laid was made to stir. And I know I've never felt you Probably some of your favorite people to work with, like Jordan Tolly Turner. Oh yeah, uh, Jordan yeah. definitely. Well, definitely Jordan. He's my favorite person ever to work with. <laughs> He's the best photographer, best videographer, best writer. He's kind of propelled our success a little. I feel like he's yeah. in it. Like he just wants experience. He's like in it he does. He's hungry as we are. Yeah. So yeah. it's really fun. To get better at what he's doing. Which is Musician-wise, we've really liked working 
would you say? I'd say like, I, I literally, well, yeah, they totally started us. Yeah, they I mean, all those guys at Monkey in Geneva and Eve, James, Brandon, Andrew, <coughs> and Rose Peak and yeah, they're good. Roy Biv, they're very, very talented musicians and very nice people. Yeah, they helped us get our start. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. How do you guys feel about Shady Angels coming to a close? With this one going to college, how are you guys all feeling about that? It's sad. Freaking bittersweet. Yeah. Don't know it's honestly pretty way. surreal. Mm-hmm. I had this band like all throughout high school. You know, it's pretty yeah. different to just be like, boom, cut off. But yeah, I've been coming to terms with it. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Yeah. I mean, we we knew I it was like coming. Like, like we weren't in the dark. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like I'm not worried about like never seeing you guys again. Oh, like, yeah. playing again. No. But it's just like gonna be a huge change for sure. It's I'm gonna be like I'm gonna go over there and be like, damn, wish I had my boys. But yeah. it's yeah. just like a life moment, but like changes necess- doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Not, you know, a worse change. It's a good yeah. time to grow. It's different. Yeah. And did you guys start the band like kinda knowing it's gonna like be kind of a short term project or did you guys think that this would last like Good I amount had of time. No expectations. I didn't think it was gonna last this long. No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not. I was playing just to jam out with some people that also knew how to play an instrument. Cause I was, I mean, Jameson and I like learned our instruments kind of together, <laughs> jamming out. Totally. So it was like, I just wanted to play with somebody, and I had no expectation. I was like, oh, we're actually gonna play in front of an audience. Sick. And I was like, oh, now we have like a following. Sick. Oh, now we like have gonna record a record. Like. What the hell? That's insane. Yeah. It all now came we're at the knitting factory. Like it's all been surreal, you know. Yeah. yeah. I had no expectations, but yeah, just, just gotta be thankful. To show what happens. You just like try shit. Just random ass shit, you know. You yeah. just try and then keep trying and then keep. Just don't give up on it. Which is the most cliche bullshit of all time. <laughs> <you know? laughs> no, it's true. It's. <laughs> wait, we thought like, it comes to meaning when you actually yeah. you know follow through with it. We thought there was times we were gonna break up or whatever, especially when I went left and before. Yeah grooming Curran to be with us, but (laughs) we groomed him, but um, I mean, once we got him back, I realized we had another year, which was great, it's like, I kind of knew I was going to college, at least at the end of junior year, so I kind of knew that we had a year left after that, but before then, I thought maybe, you know, we'd hang out a couple times, play a couple covers, and maybe play the talent show, and then call it, that would be our success, but I mean, we're all surprised and thankful yeah. for being here right now it's been, yeah that's it's, been awesome. a it's been a ride yeah do you guys think after he leaves you think after you guys kind of break up you'll still do music kind of as much as you are now and maybe do like a project through with it or do you guys think you'll just like i don't know like dabble in it i don't know does that make sense yeah, yeah you guys well, think you'll definitely do? keep up the same intensity with music because mm-hmm. it's what i enjoy doing with my free time you know like i have a huge massive love for music so it's I can't really see myself doing anything else yeah. and just jamming out writing yeah. records and fucking doing shows and shit when I after he leaves I hope that we can still at least create our own stuff and yeah. I mean this guy knows how to sing yeah you do yeah, yeah. pretty I damn well well yeah. yes you, you do sing. I'm gonna take lessons though did I tell you that I'm gonna take vocal lessons good shit anyway That's good. awesome on to that, um, I've always been like writing throughout the whole band. I've been working on stuff like that doesn't really fit sonically the direction of Shady Angels, more my own. Sound. We've played it though, so yeah, yeah we've let him we play, did play it. a couple. It's awesome, and it's, it's my favorite uh, shit ever when he hops on the mic. Yeah, <laughs> I like poker. we're we're getting there, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm always gonna do music. You know? It's a lifetime goal. Just keep progressing.
just makes a maze before my best page is born. Mm, wants a real friend if she don't ever kiss you. You know that she walked that line when you fall off the lift. Makes a nice before my fingers lose their warmth. Oh, the last knows if he could just be for once. A cost it's a surely seems wrong to scream. Last thing, what's like probably the craziest like experience, whether that's like a show, recording, anything in like the whole run probably, other than like people leaving because that's like boring and generic. Jimmy, yeah. crazy. are like yeah, crazy yeah. good or like, crazy bad or like yeah. either, <laughs> either <laughs> both eventful. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just I talking. Mean, there's about the been studio. times that are really nerve wracking. If I'm if I'm on stage and I'm losing sound, 
Oh, Recently God. at yeah, the Dipper. That happened last time. Uh, yeah, yeah, Sound Engineer yeah. runs up on stage while they're still playing. He's like, can I get you a new chord, like, cable? I'm like, yeah, like, try anything. <clears throat> but, I mean, so that's kind of crazy. Yeah, was scary. that the show Braden dropped his guitar? I was yeah. just going to bring that up. <laughs> yeah. dropped his guitar. Yeah. <laughs> got, yeah, pull it up. Yeah. We, we kind of got some internet <laughs> fame for that one, though. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, in like 100k views yeah, or something. It may not load, but we're. They don't like our songs, but they like 600k views of me dropping crazy. this Gretsch back here you, you on the fucking. Show, show the class. I dropped this bad girl on the floor, and it's a Gretsch, so she's fine. But <laughs> that was pretty she's embarrassing. Fine. I got. I got kind of red. I'm not gonna lie. That was okay. That fucking sucked. That was like one of the craziest things that's happened. You played happened. it off played well. It off. Yeah, yeah. I had you just kept talking. Might be my last show, yeah, actually. Gotta, yeah, it might be my last show because well, shit, it might have been. But um, I think one of the craziest memories I remember is our first show ever, and we were just like, "Damn, nobody's gonna come and see us, man. It's our first show. Nobody knows who the fuck we are." And it was like kind of a cold winter eve, and we looked outside from the green room to the street, and there was like a whole line, like to the parking lot. And I remember being like, "What the fuck is that real?" I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. Terrifying. It was, and that, and that's when the nerves started kicking in. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> For real. What's your crazy yeah. story? Um, recording at Jimmy's studio at Amplified Wax. Yeah. Oh, Just, yeah. I mean, that whole studio alone is incredibly. It's beautiful, and. Just being able to record a full album and get our sound out has been, it's been a really yeah. cool experience. That's that is that is crazy. <laughs> that's the new one, right? right. Yes. And didn't Tremador. Xander film something for that? Is yeah, it something he's got pretty much the entire time. Yeah. whole documentary coming out. That's we, crazy. We made him be there every single morning, <laughs> and he was <laughs> we, a really good sport. Do we so, know when yeah. that's dropping? Uh, I think it's, uh, he said he's almost done. He told me. Okay. Yeah. 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 Cool. And when's the album dropping? The twentieth. So this next Friday. This Friday. 20th. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, damn. Whoa. Okay, that's coming that's out. Crazy. For you, it's in your hands. You yeah. got the. You got the in CD my for hands. it. Beat y'all to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what she'll be What's doing? What's your crazy story? Crazy Tell us the crazy story. stories. Um, it's nice dude, it's between one crazy story was in was the knit just like literally like I think someone already brought this up. It was like right before we were yeah you said this right before we were on and Vika was belting some crazy shit. I'm pretty sure she announced Shady she Angels, She did announce those. I remember that specifically. And walking out was a crazy moment. I think I blacked out. <laughs> that was pretty bad. But also, um, really early on in the band, we uh, got hit up by Eve to play a show. Like, it was, like, our first show. And we, like, we're crossing the threshold between, like, just being, like, a shitty garage band who, like, practices sometimes. To, I don't like, know if we had crossed it shows. yet. <laughs> well, we were, like, beginning to cross it, you know? Right. That, it gave us something to work towards, yes. and that's kind of what set us It did off push us, for sure. Yeah. To, yeah. like, actually practicing for shows. Because in the early days, doing shows it was... You practice out of fear of p- being bad in front of people. <laughs> you know, it wasn't like, well, we want to no, we just don't want to suck in front of everybody. That did that made us really hungry. I bet. Yeah, yeah. I, so, I do remember yeah. having some nice to work towards was I, a show. Yeah, I just remember like how how giddy I felt and how many people I told. I told a lot mm-hmm. of people about that. I was very pumped about it. But you own. Yo, crazy story. More crazy. Yeah, more crazy. Um, give us the crazy. I mean, obviously, like seeing yourself on a huge front page of the newspaper oh, yeah. was oh, yeah. pretty mind-boggling. Yeah. That was, like, scary, man. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. yo, that's me. Like, what? When was <laughs> that? Like, that was kind of recent, like, right? Like I don't May. know if I want people oh, to yeah. see that. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I'll, yeah. I mean, I'll say about playing the Knitting Factory, like, before we started the band, I uh, watched the band Blue October play there, and I was on the floor, and I was, like, thinking, like, oh, my God, like, I just want to be here someday. And then I thought, like, it would be when I was, like, 20-something, you know? And then, what was I, like, Try six, 16. 16. <laughs> That's crazy. Standing on the Fuck. same stage that Alice in Chains was on, like, all these bands, you know, I mean, it's, it's Pretty just kick ass, huh? Yeah. yeah. There's been some good bands on that stage, dude. Yeah, yeah I mean, that, that, that was my goal, like, for the band, obviously, holding a physical piece of music that right. you've created mm-hmm. is insane, too. And then playing the knitting factory and then i always just have like personal goals in my head of like how many people we're playing in front of and all these like dumb logistics but i don't know i've just it's all been crazy to me yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. i bet so okay 
Last question, then you guys can get out of here and go grub. Um, who's probably the favorite person you've seen live or like favorite venue you've been at in whatever way? Oh, I wrote this oh, down. Oh. Mm. He was ready. I go first. Go yeah, ahead. oh, of course. Tool. Mm. The arena. My dad worked crew for that yeah, when they just came here, yeah. Yeah, he was awesome. That's awesome. And he carries a, I don't even know, man. Greatest drummer of all time, in my opinion. Opinion. But, yeah. uh, oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, I've been to a couple. I really liked meeting Jerry Cantrell. That was awesome. Yeah. It was cool. Got yeah. to meet him. Sign my shit. And then he said he smelled nice. He did. He smelled like cinnamon. And I knew he was going to smell something good. And he smelled <laughs> like cinnamon. And yeah, no, that was re- that was surreal. I couldn't believe I was there. I was like, hi, <laughs> shaking. <laughs> um, my favorite thing. Yeah, and then. Pearl Jam I just saw on my birthday it was yeah. really really good I knew the like wholesale is mega fan of that and I was so impressed one of the better bands I've seen was U2 actually like oh, yeah. in, <laughs> in Seattle like you know 10 years ago and um, yeah those have just I mean as like far as like local artistry I think um, seeing Vika for the first time kind of blew my mind is, yeah she's like never been bad I don't know no. Yeah. I, and then I don't want to dig at her, but she's so fucking No, she is damn good. And then the first time that we saw the Moon Owls Majors guys, I was yeah, like that was pretty, in a little, pretty locked in with those guys. Little garage. That was and really fucking Yeah, that, that was, was very cool. cool. That's yeah. crazy. What about you, Nolan? Yeah. Um I saw Bruno Mars Silk That's Sonic right. live in Las Vegas and I don't know Sweet. if I'll ever see That's a show crazy. better than that <laughs> because I mean you had the the singing was just phenomenal, the dancing, the showmanship comedy it was all great so and cool. then i also saw in seattle john mayer solo acoustic there you it was really go. intimate but it was to a full arena it was oh, actually God. really cool he used like looping and stuff like that it was it That's was so uh sick. it was special That's it was so cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah my favorite show was tame impala at the gorge amphitheater oh, yeah. that was re- yeah. that was like my first yeah, real it. concert i ever went to yeah. and so it was definitely an experience yeah. i'll so never sick. forget that's oh. a good first concert, yeah, that's, dude. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, thank you guys for your time. Thank you so yeah, thank much. You. Thanks thank for you. all the fun shows. Thanks for signing my forehead two times. <laughs> you might Very make welcome. that three at Boom Jam. Who knows, guys? I'll bring okay. a pen. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for tuning hey, thanks in so much. to Sonoscope Studio this week. We've been Shady Angels. Thank you. Good night. Yep, thank yep. you. Yep. It's like four in the mor- afternoon. <laughs> good night. Good night.